It's time for Ask Jillian, and right now we have Angela in our audience with a question, and this is right up Jillian's alley. Welcome. Hi, Jillian. Water pills. Okay. <laughs> I know, I took them. And what happened was, I did lose weight rapidly. But after a couple of months, I gained like seven, eight pounds back again. Okay. And Jillian, what is the difference between water weight right. and weight and fat loss? And fat loss. Okay, okay. I totally the understand difference? the question. Let, let me first okay. of all explain. And you guys may have seen in the back of magazines, spa regimens you can do where you drop inches overnight. and. What's really happening is it's manipulating the water weight in your body, okay? So water weight is excess fluid that you're holding onto in your body. Weight loss, the kind of weight loss that we want, is fat reduction, and that simply means that you're creating a calorie deficit in your diet, and fat is nothing other than stored energy, so your body needs energy, it dips into your fat stores, and we burn fat, and we do this with a healthy diet, counting calories, and exercise. When you play games with things like water pills, you're creating a real potential danger with your health. And I, I'm going to let Dr. Travis explain this. Water pills just say no, no, no. Water pills are known as diuretics in medicine. So water follows electrolytes. You can create major life-threatening electrolyte imbalances with these, these pills because, number one, I'll guarantee you most people don't even know what's in them. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah. There, there's also stimulants in most of these. So they call themselves water pills, but the reality is there's tons of stimulants in them as well. These can be very dangerous. And losing water weight, all it is is a quick temporary fix anyway, while it throws other things in your body out of whack. So let's do it the right way. Okay, so with that said, we talked about eating right and working out to lose fat, not just body weight. That said, if it's that time of the month, ladies, or if you're feeling bloated with some fluid retention, in general, it's really simple. Eat a lower sodium diet, drink a lot of water, because the more water you drink, the less water your body's gonna hold on to. It almost seems counterintuitive, but the truth of the matter is the more water you drink, the more water your body's gonna flush out. It's not gonna hold on to fluid. And there are some natural things you can include and incorporate into your diet so that your body is flushing out any excess sodium. And that's gonna be foods that are rich in potassium, like coconut water or watermelon, for example. Another great natural way to get rid of that bloat is to add a couple tablespoons of some sugar-free cranberry juice to your water or a cup of dandelion tea. Real simple, real natural, safe and healthy. And you know what else these have? Nutrients. Yeah. Actual nutrients that are good for your body. So. That's the other big thing here is when you, when you try to take the easy route out, losing water weight, you're putting yourself at risk for long-term problems. So these are great options. And, and try these out and see what happens. I will. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jillian.